today I'm trying a new antenna based on this fishing rod. This is part of my wade tenner, a vertical antenna I use when I go pedestrian mobile. This is a telescopic rod, about five or so metres tall, and I have wire going down. This is on the backpack, which I wear, and that provides a vertical antenna in conjunction with an L-match antenna coupler and some wire dangling to make contact with the salt water. But today, I'm going to do something slightly different with it. One of the clues is some holes I'd already drilled as part of a previous project. If you've done anything in radio before, you'll recognize this as being a mounting for an SO239 antenna socket. So I'm going to put that back in. That's the first stage. Next ingredient is this U-bolt, probably from an old TV antenna. Anyway, there's holes there. That suits it quite well. And I will mount it on the other side here. And that can go around a metal pier railing. And this will give me a vertical antenna that I can mount on the pier. And I'll be making contact with the pier through this to act as the counterpoise. That should give me quite an efficient vertical antenna. This pole isn't the only thing I can fit in here. I could also fit something shorter, like this fishing rod which is about two meters long. A bit more detail on the construction. This is the SO239 antenna socket. The earth goes to the U-bolt, which connects to the metal pier railing. The inner goes to an alligator clip, and that will connect onto this coil. I didn't need to wind it, I already had it in my junk box, but if you want to reproduce it, it's about 45 millimeters in diameter. The wire looks like about one and a half millimeters thick, spaced about two millimeters or so apart, and there's 15 turns. The idea is for this antenna to operate on the higher HF bands. It will certainly operate on 28, 24 megahertz. It should be okay on 14 megahertz. Not sure about 10 and 7 megahertz. The idea is that the alligator clip will just clip onto this and you'll need to vary this depending on what band you're going to use this antenna for. This is the radiating element, in length about 2.2 metres, so very close to a quarter wavelength on 28 megahertz. I won't need very many taps put in to have it resonate there. And so if I move it further down, so more of the coil is in series with the base of the antenna, I'll be able to get it to operate on lower and lower frequencies. Then I've got some more chopping board. I've got one hole here that goes into the top of the rod. The other gaps here are just so I can hold the wire. I'm using base loading. That is mechanically the best way of having a vertical antenna, but it's the least efficient. Uh, center or top loading would be more efficient. But in this case, it shouldn't be too much of a loss, especially on the higher HF bands, as we're not too far off being full sized on 10 meters.
six turns down from the antenna wire and it seems to be resonant on 21 megahertz. So that's a good start. A few taps up and it's okay on 28 megahertz. A little bit down again and 24 megahertz is okay. And down near the bottom, 14 megahertz is okay. So we've got ourselves a five band vertical. 14, 18, 21, 24 and 28 megahertz. Started off on 18 megahertz, FT8. And first contact was FK8HM, New Caledonia, a bit under 3,000 kilometres away. So a good report, about as similar received as I gave. Not long after, VR2KW called and concluded a contact. A bit further away in Hong Kong. A good first few minutes with quite a few stations it worked then it slowed down a bit mostly the north-south path into Japan and at least for the first little bit that's just across this part of the water so the bay is probably helping a little bit Roger, VK4 DCP, VK3 Yankee Echo. Kilowatt, India Victoria 3, Oscar, Kilowatt, Oscar. India Victoria 3, Oscar, Kilowatt, Oscar. You Pacific. Uh, VK3 Yankee Echo, sorry, but in this moment they so and so propagation up and down and uh, copy so and so, okay? Uh, your uh, your uh, three by three in at the moment. Three by three Lombard, Roger. Foxtrot six echo Charlie Sugar calling DX over. Victor Kilo three Yankee Echo. I'm looking for DX sorry, no Europe. Uh, Victor Kilo Australia. Victor Kilo three Yankee Echo. Victor Kilo three Yankee Echo, I guess. QSL, QSL, QSL. Good, uh, good evening to you, long time no here. Long time no here. I, I think we worked already. Maybe you run in QRP. Name is uh, Jack, J A C K. Jack, I'm on the Spanish border next to the Mediterranean. VK3 Yankee Echo. Again? Uh, Victor Kilo 3 Yankee Echo. Okay, who's a Victor Kilo 3? Uh, VK3 Yankee Echo. VK3 YE. Yankee Echo, YE Yankee Echo. Uh, QSL, QSL, QSL. Yeah, you're, you're a bit like, you're about a 5 and 2 at the moment, only a 52 over. Roger, roger, thank you for the five and two. Uh, you are five by eight, five by eight, five by eight, over. Roger, roger, thank you so much for that. I won't hold it just in case conditions uh, go away from us. Well, thank you so much for calling in. Seven three, have a great day, bye-bye. Overall had about 25 contacts, about half were FT8, then a mix between CW and SSB for the other half. Mostly CW on 20 metres, that was very successful, as well as a bit of SSB. Also, some CW on 21 megahertz.
including across to Italy. As for the antenna, don't make any special claims for it, as I think HF conditions were quite good. It is a very simple project to build. It gives you five bands for very little money. As far as the main parts, basically a fishing rod, some chopping board, and some wire for the main element, as well as for the coil. So overall, simple to build, gives reasonably good performance, including DX with QRP, if the conditions are right. And so if you do build it, then let me know how you go in the comments and the results you get. Do you want to get the most from your portable QRP operating? Good antennas is a great place to start. Find out how I succeed with my two books, hand-carried QRP antennas and more hand-carried QRP antennas. The big sellers with favourable reviews from all around the world. To learn more, visit vk3ye.com or search the titles on Amazon.